Namshuva students, we will continue with our chapter number 9, decimals, part number 6, page number 79. So all of you open your book and page number 79. Today we will learn ascending and descending order of decimal numbers. You can see for example I have written 4 decimal numbers. And these four decimal numbers, we will have to arrange it in ascending order. That means from smaller to bigger order. Our arranging of numbers will be easier if we write all the numbers with the same number of digits after the decimal point. After the decimal point. This is important. So, here you can see the first number is 0 0.001, second one is 0 0.10, third one is 0 0.01 and the fourth one is 0 0.101. Here you can see the first number is having three digits, second and third are having two digits and the fourth number is having three digits. So, we have to now, we have to convert the second and third numbers into three digit numbers. How we will do that? I told you before, if we write 0 after the last digit of the decimal number, then the values of that number does not change. Okay. So, first number is 0 0.001. Okay, second number is 0 0.10. Here you can see it is three digits, three digit number. So, we put 10 over here. So, now it becomes three digit. Clear? Now, the second one, it is also having two digits, 0 0.01. And we put 10 after the last decimal number, 1. Okay, now it becomes three digit number and the fourth one it is already having three digits. Now you can see that all the numbers are having three digits. Now we will arrange this number into ascending order. I told you before while comparing the numbers greater or smaller Okay, we will have to move from left to right side. Here you can see that there are no whole numbers. That means no numbers are there before decimal points. All are decimal numbers. So we will start comparing with the first position. That is the tenth position. That is first one is one, zero. Second one is one. Third one is zero. And the fourth one is one. As 0 is smaller than 1 and we are arranging from smaller to bigger order, we will take the smaller numbers first. That means 0 0.001 and 0 0.010. <coughs> Both the numbers are having 0 in their tenths places. So these are same. And I told you before, if the numbers are same, okay, in, the, in their position, then we will go to the next number. So, as there are two zeros in tenths place, we will go to the next place that is hundredths place. It is zero and it is one. Which one is smaller? As zero is smaller, we will write this number as the smallest one. So, point zero zero one. And after that, we will write this number, 0 0.010. Clear? So, these two numbers we have done. So, these are the last two numbers, 0 0.100 and 0 0.101. I am rubbing this one, 0 0.100 and 0 0.101. Now, we will compare these two numbers. Here you can see in 10 places 1 and 1. Both are same. 
then we will go to hundredths place that is here it is zero here it is zero also the same then we will have to go to the thousands place here it is zero and here it is one as zero is smaller than one so we will take this one first so our third number will be one zero zero and the last number is point one zero one clear so this is the process you have to arrange in ascending order you have to make all the numbers with equal or same number of digits and for that you have to put a zero after decimal points after the last number of the decimal numbers clear now i am rubbing this one with another example i will make you understand 6.33 6.003 here you can see that five numbers are there five and all these five numbers how many digits are there here you can see a uh, Sorry, first you have to see that is there any whole number or not? Yes, there are whole numbers, but all the whole numbers are same: six, 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 and six. Then we will have to go to the next number. But here you can see after decimal point, here there are two digits, here there are three digits, here there are four digits, here there are two digits, and here there are also two digits. Now, what is the greatest number of digits here? Four. So we will have to write all the rest of the digits into four digits. How does it come? Now, six point three three. Two digits after decimal point. So we will put two zero. Then now you can see that it it now becomes a four digit decimal number. Okay. Then. Six point zero zero three. Three three digits are there after decimal point. So we will put one zero over there. Now it becomes four digit. Now six point zero 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 three. It is already having four digits. So we have don't have to change. Now six point zero three. Two digits are there. Then we will have to put two zeros after the last decimal number three. And now the last one is six point three zero. So we will have to put two more zeros at there. Now it becomes the four digit number. Clear? Now we have to arrange these numbers into descending order. That means from bigger to smaller order. Okay? As all the whole numbers are same, we will go for the decimal numbers. First tens place. What is there? Here it is three. Here it is zero, 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 and three. As three is bigger than zero, so we will take the numbers that are having three in tens place. What are those numbers? Six point three three zero zero. Six point three zero zero zero. Clear. Now whole numbers are same. So first, then we will go for tens place. Both are same, three and three. So if the numbers in their position are same, then we will have to go to the next number, the next digit. Here you can see that in hundreds place it is three and it is zero. As three is bigger than zero, so we will take this number as the greatest one. So we will first write six point three three zero zero. And then we will write this number, six point three zero zero zero. So we have taken these two numbers, <coughs> and these three are the rest of the numbers. Now we will see that which numbers among these three numbers, which num which number is the biggest one? What are these three numbers? Six point zero zero three zero, six point zero 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 three. Six point zero three zero zero. 
clear now we will compare whole numbers at same then the next number in tens place zero both three in three cases zeros are there but in hundreds place you see here it is zero it is zero and it is three as three is bigger than zero so we will write this number first zero three zero zero clear now we will compare between these two numbers 6.0030 6.0003 tens place it is 0 0 hundreds place 0 0 um, thousands place 3 0 as 3 is bigger than 0 we will write this number next 6.0030 and this will be the last number 6.0003 <coughs> students that i hope that you have understood okay you have to make the numbers into same number of digits after the decimal point after the last decimal digits and then you will arrange it according to the ascending or descending order so students today up to this much in our next class we shall meet again till then namshibai students